And in this video, we're going to use Onshape to create the spur gear mechanism uh, from PLTW 4.1.4 for IED. Uh, so I'm already in Onshape. I'm in my VEX IQ parts that we've uploaded previously. And all I'm going to do is on this new assembly, I'm going to rename it to my spur gear so I know which one I'm working with it. Once I'm in my spur gear, I'm going to insert the parts we need, the parts it tells us we need, which is going to be a 12 tooth gear. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and place that down. Uh, then I also need a 60 tooth gear it shows. So we're going to do the 60 tooth gear and I'll place that down as well. Uh, then we need two other 4X shafts. So I'm going to place one and then a second one. And then we need the one by eight beam as well. Uh, so it's very similar to what we did with the pulley mechanism. And overall, the whole process is going to be very similar to what we did previously. Uh, so first, we got to set it, everything up very similar to what we did on the pulley. Uh, if you wanted to, you could actually copy that and just replace the pulleys with the gears. Uh, but we'll do a whole new one. So I'm going to first fasten uh, this base piece. Again, it doesn't matter which one I get because I'm going to the origin. Uh, but I want to make sure it faces the right way by having my blue arrow face out. Again, I'm going to rotate it. And then this time I'm going to offset it by 90 degrees, and it appears it's going to be in the Y direction. So offset by 90, hit enter, and again I want to do that in the Y direction. And that turns it just to match up how it's looking on the POTW site. Uh, next I'm going to place my gear on my axle. Uh, so to do that, it's just a fasten. So again I come to my gear, get that center of the gear. I'm going to do the center of that inner circle, and then do the center of my axle. Uh, it says to offset it by half an inch, so I'm going to offset, and it shows the Z direction. I want to go in, so it's going to be downward, so a negative 0.5, and enter, and that moves it down onto my axle. Uh, we'll do the same thing with our 60 tooth gear. So again, it's a fasten. I get my inner circle. That way I know I'm getting the same location. Uh, if we can get it, we'll get that inner circle, get that center, and then the center of my axle. Again, we offset it downwards in the x direct in the z direction, negative 0.5. Enter places it where we need it. Hit our green check to accept. And next, we have to put the axles into our beam. Uh, so this is going to be a revolve mate. So I hit my revolute. Uh, the end of the axle, same location I previously got, and place the first one. It says to put in the second hole. So I place it in there. Uh, it says to offset it by one inch, just like we did on our pulley mechanism. And then hit our green check to accept. So this one, you can see it's in the uh, reverse. I don't want it on the back side. I could work with it on the back side, but it's just going to make it more difficult. So I'm just going to double click and just flip it around so it's on the opposite side. Once I do that, that puts the pulley around. Uh, same process on our second one. So Revolute Mate. Uh, zoom in, get the top of your axle, uh, zoom in. This time it says four over, so one, two, three, four over from the end. And we want to go in the same location we did on our first one. So we place it in, offset it one inch again, just like on the last one, and hit our green check to accept. Uh, you can see the gears are messing up messing together uh, they're not quite perfect so we will have to zoom in and reduce that interference they have on them so I'm going to look at it directly from the front view uh, it's pretty close but you can see there's a lot of overlap uh, so all I'm going to do you pick either one it doesn't matter which one you change I'm just going to do Revolute 2 since the last one we did and we have to do an offset rotation angle uh, you want to go relatively slowly so if I do like a one degree change uh, in order to see the change, we have to hit enter, and you can see it's going up. It's going to be quicker to go backwards, so I'm going to go back into it. I'm going to hit my uh, degrees, and I'm going to start by trying a negative 2. Uh, I'm going to just hit my green check and hope we're close, uh, and you can see we're pretty close. Uh, if you want to make sure, if you come over here on the right-hand side, there's this interference detection. Uh, you can click that. You click your spur gear. And we want to see where it's touching. In this case, we have a little bit of touching on both sides. Uh, that's okay since it's on both sides. It's going to purse. You need a little bit of interference where it's driving that uh, wheel. So that's going to be okay in this instance, uh, especially for the way we're modeling. 
uh, but you want to try to make sure it's at least pretty close in this instance. Uh, then next, we want to set up our gear relation. So I'm going to do gear relation. Again, I'm just going to do Revolute 1 and then Revolute 2. Once I've done that, I need to set up my gear ratio because I have one big gear and one little gear. Uh, I have a 12 tooth 1 and then a 60 tooth 1. So I just have to do 12 since I clicked the 12 first divided by 60. Uh, that's to give us one fifth or 0.2 for our gear ratio. Hit our green check to accept. And then if you want to animate it, you'll be able to see the animation by clicking right click and animate. Again, I'm going to change the loop so it's continuous. And then we just hit play. And you can see the little one moves, and then the big one moves much slower in this case. So every one revolution of the little one, uh, every five revolutions of the little one is going to be one revolution of that big one. Uh, so this would be if the little gear was driving. If you want the big gear to drive, you can do the same process and animate, uh, put it on a loop, and hit play. And you can see that same animation. Big one moves slow, little one moves up much quicker. So hopefully this helps you to set up your uh, spur gear mechanism for a PLTW, IED 4.1.4. And thank you, and good luck.